is the day of my equator crossing ceremony. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's 12.50 right now and at uh, 1 o'clock sharp, I have to go for my equator crossing ceremony. They are probably going to cut off all my hair and they are going to paint my body. They are going to cut off my beard too, I guess, but I'll pray, I'll beg, I'll literally beg them not to cut it off. I love my beard so much. I love my hair too, but one thing has to go, one thing or the other, or maybe both. Uh, I'm wearing my dirtiest boiler suit and I have emptied a full bottle of parachute on my body, parachute oil on my body, so that paint does not stick. Now I'm going to go to the bridge for the equator crossing ceremony and I'm barefoot, I'm not wearing anything because anything I wear will be ruined later on so I know better. Uh, I've also put oil on my face, on my neck, everywhere basically. Bridge turns out they aren't ready yet. In the meantime, let's go to electrical in this camp. Let's see. Hey Sally. He's preparing. <laughs> He's applying oil. Are you applying oil or body lotion? What's that? Oil, 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 oil. It's oil. It's oil. Uh, he is also applying oil on his body just like I did. How are you feeling by the way? I am feeling very bad. Very bad? Yeah. Why, why is that? Because I have certificates still they are doing, with, but, doing but, this with me. But as it turns out it was a forged certificate. It was not valid. It was... Uh, they, you made they it. didn't prove it. You they made it. didn't prove it. They could not prove it. But it was actually forged. Please note that point. It was a forged certificate. <laughs> The weird angry guy you see right here is the second mate. He's playing the role of the mighty King Neptune. And I'm sure you all can see he's enjoying every second of it. And you can see me begging for mercy here along with the other prisoners. Here the king is sentencing us for trespassing into his kingdom. And you will see later on that he gave some nasty punishments. Like very nasty. But since we were going down, we had a chance to take someone down with us. So we told the king that the mess man helped us to get inside the kingdom and that he was a spy. And then the mess man was forced to join us. <laughs> कल जब मैं वेल का नजारा देखने के लिए बाहर गई थी तो इन्होंने मुझे बहुत ही गंदी नजरों से देखा The first thing they did to us was serve us the royal drink which of course was served out of a shoe it smelled like rotten eggs and tasted like a mix of hot barbecue sauce, hot chili and some stale milk. And I think that there was some chicken skin inside it too. Cause like some of it came in my mouth. Now there's me taking a big sip out of the royal shoe. Now that's the electrical engineer right there, the man who earlier in the video admitted to making a fake equator crossing certificate and it actually worked for him.
it's time for the paint ritual and the king is all set to paint our bodies red and green while his beloved queen watches in awe but frankly i blame bosun more than i blame the king for what's happening to us because bosun is the man supplying the paint to the mad king and you guys can see bosun standing right next to the king after the king the queen picks up the brush to paint our bodies green and there's me there is third officer he's trying to stuff a raw egg in my pants and break it there which he actually did now the king goes for my beard and i retreat after which he agreed to paint my body which he actually did but then again he went for my beard and he got it this time <laughs> And there's chief officer taking a trimmer to my beautiful hairstyle. After I managed to save my beard in the first round, there are six crew members who are going after my beard again, and I'm struggling. I'm fighting really hard to save it. and i emerge victorious the next punishment was a dirty water bath the drums were filled with sea water some chicken skin shoes and obviously us prisoners <laughs> next gig is walkovers and to be honest it was not that bad when the chief officer and third officer were walking over us but the real problem started when this big guy decided to break our backs and a salute to the sea was a must followed by some dance since just dancing was not good enough so we decided to go for the rain dance through the equator crossing ceremony and we have got our certificates now but you can see what happened to my hair here uh, look at this line here this one and this one and this one it's a peace symbol on my head and i managed to save my beard but partially here i lost a patch here this was by second engineer and third officer i hate both those guys and this this young man managed to save everything because yes. he had an excuse he told them he has to meet his girlfriend after signing off so everybody sympathized with him so that's us after equator crossing we have tips for you guys the tip is oil your hair as much as you can oil your beard as much as you can oil your body as much as you can just basically take a bath in oil before equator crossing ceremony the paint's going to go out because of oil don't don't forget to put the oil on your back because that's the place people target the most i forgot it and there's still oil on There's still paint on my back. My T-shirt just sticks to it. Ow, it hurts. 
and this guy, you, were you able to take the paint off, off of your shirt, off of your back? He still has, still has paint on his back. Mine is much worse actually. Now it's on you guys. We have given you all the tips. If you want to prepare, you can prepare well. Yo guys, I'm here after Recruiter Crossing and we are here for my hairdo and something with my beard too. Let's see what electrical officer, my stylist, has planned for me. Hi guys. Uh, so what are we gonna do with my hair? I'm gonna take off all your hairs and make you bald. Okay, and something with the beard too? Uh, beard. I think we need to take keep this beard like this only. Okay, nothing with the beard and yeah. he's gonna take off all my hair. Let's see how that looks. Good ball. I look like a villain, a Bollywood villain.